let it play. Oh no! Oh no! TV. I'm your boy Rico Bellucci, okay. and we have season 12, episode 12, 12, 12. Y'all better play the numbers. Live from Atlanta, the Georgia Lottery presents Cash 4 and Fantasy 5. Good evening. But anyway, we're going to get started. We're going to jump right in because we are very busy, and we have to get these videos out as soon as possible. We're really trying to time ourselves. First of all, we start off with... <sighs> Mikey, what are you doing? Michael! Marley! Mike, come this way. Mike. Mike. Here. Hey, Eva's house, finally, they're showing us Eva's house. Daddy, got you looking like a blues singer. Here. Marley Ray Ray, can mommy have a kiss kiss? They want on this cheek. They want on this cheek. Mommy just need kisses, it makes her feel better. It makes tummy baby better too. To me, I understand what you were saying. Legally, like, she has an order of protection against her baby father. I still feel a sense of like threat because, because of Marley's donor. I have to redo this restraining order, it's almost up. I still feel a sense of uneasiness. So it's, they have to oh. show as few details as possible regarding the location that she lives. Oh, really? Because if it's at any point production's fault that it's exposed where her address is, they can be wow. sued for that. But then again, it also gives me that Eva has to live up to a certain lifestyle. Stop no, living above right. your knees, darling. But she lives above her knees, can you? So if they show where she lived, then it also gives room to the girls to pick, you know, give them. Well, and give it that you don't have to be rich, rich, but you have to have a certain lifestyle. Do you have to have money to be a housewife? Probably. You need yeah. to have a lifestyle. You have to have a lifestyle. A lifestyle. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Whether you're going broke or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I get it, honey. You need to like to eat at nice restaurants and then get up and leave the check. Yeah. Get it, Andy. Get it, Nene. I love it. Exactly. And she doesn't want to show her house because it's not up there to the standard. You know, it's not like theirs. <laughs> I do think that that's part of the reason too. I do not think this is an apartment. I think this is a subdivision, uh, uh, an apartment. Baby, I told her she can have a frozen yogurt. Okay. So much happened in Toronto that I could attribute to my stress. I didn't realize that me and Portia had a beef. Eva doesn't remember her shade. She is talking to her husband as if she doesn't remember everything that she said. I can afford her a lot of these blogs so she can mind that business. Like as if they're still lying on her. That was definitely not what I said. So Candy's a liar. No, so I'm she's not. making it up. I'm I really did not, not say anything about forwarding a blog. Nobody's lying on you, Eva. Right. This is the stuff that you said. You didn't know you had a problem with Portia. Eva, you are someone who, to me, is in my village. The other day, I was talking to uh, Candy and Marlo, and that's when Candy was like, well, I wish that she felt the same way because you apparently were, like, pissed. Because you forget the shit that you do. You just saying little stuff like, uh, the C-section ain't even healed yet. She over here worried about me or something. Huh? And she all up in my business. Maybe I should forward her some of these blogs about Dennis so she can have some business to mind. Oh, she just be throwing stuff in. Or you that much of a liar. You right. did it. You said it. Wow. Portia, I am sitting here telling you in front of her, with her, <laughs> that that wasn't the case. I can forward her a lot of these blogs, these blogs, so she can mind, so she can mind that business. So what do you think? You don't have a problem with Portia? Yeah, you got a problem with Portia. I never intended to hurt your feelings. And hurting your feelings, I apologize, because that was never my intention. Let me digest it. Let me digest it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I wouldn't even be bringing it up if, if I didn't give a And what are you mad at Candy for? Bitch, y'all. I mean, not that I knew of until Candy, who I now have dubbed Salt Bay, she was up there just throwing salt all in shit. Are you mad at right. Candy How because she did Candy right. for spreading it when right. you, you spread the candy negativity salt, about babe. Portia? Right, she was talking shit about Portia to everybody, Cynthia and Candy. It Real up. Oh my God, to my non-surprise, it's Salt Bay Candy, yet again, adding some seasoning into So now something. she Salt Bay because she exposed you? Right. I'm like, yo, how are you just gonna start some shit between two people that I didn't even know existed? Yeah. So that's why I'm calling Candy now, 10 on two. See, it got salt all over me. Well, fair enough, that settles that. I just, I don't know. Ooh, I'm glad that wasn't nothing else. It's tea tree oil. Right. Oh, my laptop. Okay. <laughs> forbid. But Candy already said that about Eva, that she, I didn't mean to spit it like that. I didn't uh -huh. mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta call her DJ Eva for the way she's spinning these words. No, 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 she, maybe, so I'm like, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. 
I, I, I was really saying that, girl. You know what you meant. What I said was, I. Yeah, she did. She did. Busy as Candy is. Why she spends time stirring the pot, I don't know. She is what we call a class A instigator. <laughs> Eva seems to always make herself the victim from not remembering the shade she throws and saying, no, I didn't, right. but no, I didn't. And I have seen you d deny the same way before. I heard from someone that you were telling people that I paid Will to date me. Whoa. Oh, my God. I don't know that to be true. That's not what I said. Do you no. remember her saying something about blogs, Cynthia? Um, I don't because remember. I, I didn't say it. Like that I don't remember exactly I did not what say said. it. <laughs> I didn't hear OK. So now you look like somebody coming at you and maybe Candy is lying on you, which makes you the victim because Candy is lying on you, right? right. That's victim. I want to respond to it because that was definitely not what I said. So Candy's a liar? No, so she's I'm not. making it up? I'm I did not say that. anything about forwarding a blog. Down to Kevin McCall. He did this to me and he did this to me. But you took him back, if anybody remembers, after you filed reports on him back in the past. She filed a report on him, had him locked up, and went to an award ceremony or some TMZ talked about it. Anything that you say and do can and will be held against you in the candy court of law. All booed up with him like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> that trips me out. You get what I'm saying? How hurt was you? Right. Honey, this court is adjourned. Seriously. Anyway, say what you want to say. Unsubscribe if you don't like it. Come on, let's go get our body scrubbed. <laughs> Yes, for Portia Britt and Candy. Yes, for Marlo showing up with Tanya. They do look like they may be getting close. Or maybe Marlo didn't have no gas money to dry that far out. However, I'm looking more forward to this gas voucher that I hope she gonna give me for driving these 2,000 miles to get out of here. <laughs> Tell you got money. Can I get some Skittles, uh, some dips, Reese's Pieces, ah! pretzels, <laughs> and a large popcorn. A large? You got money. He got money. Get it all for him. This spa may be cursed. You know we went here. Yeah, we've been here before. I mean, last time they were there, they blew the up. The last time we was here, Kenya, Nini, it was a few of them going at it. I don't care about what he was doing either. The fact that you didn't get your ass beat. Right, we don't want y'all to go from a blow up you should have said when you had the time and said, Nini, you had the floor. Kenya, you shut the up, bitch. 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 To another blow up you Cause that was after pillow talk, right? Yeah. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Put your hands on me! Don't let me come at me like yo, 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 yo! You bitch! Hold on! Oh my God! Come on, man! Who you gonna punch? Hey, bitch! Don't fuck with me! What are you doing? No, bitch! 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 Bit
but right. Candy be the one causing the old guy exactly. sometimes. Cause she be carrying the got them bones and delivering them properly. Right. I don't know why Candy takes pride in being the bone carrier, cause it ain't cute. Honey, she really didn't go into what I thought she was gonna go into. Portia took it there. She was like, yeah. yeah. This is the tea I wanna know about. Uh -oh, so when we were at the dinner, the last dinner. Mm. Oh God. I'm gonna take a mess on this one. Your face gone. Your face came off. Face off. Face but no, come on, let's get back to this. This insinuation right, that right. she's making towards Tanya. I felt like Kenya was getting around to something. She first started talking about cheating, right? Remember she was asking us questions about, so every man was a cheat and da 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 hmm, Talk to me now. Have a little sip of this little tea. And Tanya started mimicking her, holding her lip up like Kenya tea butt. I'm thinking, OK, she must be talking about me and this, right? So I just went on and went with it. And then it got to a point where I was like, she's definitely not talking about me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh my God, I tell you, that's Jay. She, <laughs> she kept going like this. Like, yeah. She was talking about you, Jay. I felt like she was. You <laughs> see, that? that's her way of looking at Kenya. Right. Because she done lifted up her lip and looked at her funny, <laughs> like mimicking her. And that's why it's so funny to hear you go, wait a second, who's she talking about? Let me, why does she keep looking at me? So how do you feel about that? Like, have you heard anything? Right. If that is your definition of cheating, it doesn't apply to us. It was shady of Candy to sit there and um, act as if she had nothing to say. Exactly, exactly. About the whole situation. Exactly. She you was know, talking about Tanya. Tanya already let y'all I, I can't believe she you knows. don't just let it ride like that. Uh -huh. I can't believe you don't let that. Uh-huh, she let it ride. And Marlo called her out on it. Like, just watch out for that, Candy. What you feel, Candy, about the situation? Oh what I feel? What you feel? What do you feel? Because you real quiet. <laughs> this is your friend, so I want to hear what you got to say. Right. Do you feel your friend, can you know something? She always be making comments to people. I don't know where she was going with that. She got something on you, Candy. She ain't got nothing on me. And Tanya, dumbass, tell about I've only known Kenya 48 hours and two seconds. Kenya, I've known her for 48 hours, two seconds. Okay. The day before, she literally was demanding that I put my single leg back in my uterus right now. Why are you waiting? I feel like I want to just keep working to get more out. Why? Not 48 hours and two seconds, bitch. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, <f> <laughs> Honestly, girlfriend to girlfriend, put it in. you just need to do a cycle. Come on, that is too far. So she ain't shy about telling me about me. Candy, I think that if it was, the shoe was on the other foot, she would want somebody to tell her. One thing about Kenya, I will give you positive. She's like a hound. She's sniffing around. She knows something. So don't do Tanya like that. You know what I mean? Right. This whole situation sucks. Yes, Portia. They were talking about the cookie lady. Portia's like, she kept talking about beautiful, beautiful. Right. She was definitely talking about Tanya because the more she was telling her story, she was saying the girl was beautiful. A beautiful woman. A sexy woman. First of all, that was full of it. I caught that Kenya kept trying to say beautiful. So then Tanya's like, I don't care who Paul talks to, but can he talk to a beautiful girl? And the lady looked real wrinkled. She looked real wrinkled. Oh, the little lady had walked in, a uh, uh, real wrinkled lady, real wrinkled. She needed a good steaming and ironing. She was just wrinkled. And he said, oh, mommy, mommy, look at her. Her look just like a monkey. And I said, oh, God, baby, I'm sorry, uh, Mother uh, Divine. Matter of fact, Mother Time, can I buy your dinner this great afternoon? My son done offended you. Can I please uh, 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 buy you something to eat here? That what she looked like. She looked like she needed an eye to her skin. So beautiful, more beautiful than Tanya. I think that Kenya just wanted to come for Tanya in any kind of way right, yeah. by saying that. And the girl was beautiful. A beautiful woman. A sexy woman. Man, and seeing a beautiful woman. This one was beautiful. And she was a beautiful girl. That girl does not look better than Tanya. Like, come on, keep it real, Kenya. Man, and seeing a beautiful woman. I was like, okay, you know what, bitch? Tanya, she's talking about you. <laughs> you know she don't look better than Tanya. Not by a long shot. True T, bitch. Portia said most times the side chick don't look better than the main chick. Right. And I was like, well, most side bitches ain't even as good looking as the main girl. She was like, no, no, no. This one was beautiful. And she was a beautiful girl. Which is true because, you know, you're looking for a one hit a quitter. Man, I fucked your dick, man. You say to me? I'll fuck your dick, man. Oh, man. All right, so what you want to do, my man? Go to the corner. They don't be uh -huh. trying to look for no full-on relationships, so right? I understood what she was saying there. Portia is off his charts compared to him anyway, so. Exactly, I don't even know why he, thank you. Okay, let's move on. That's another video for another day, honey. Candy, now you know this girl is in a serious relationship with Paul. No, no, no. If he ever cheated on you, or if you ever found out that he cheated on you, how would you feel? Oh, I would be broken up. I would be, no, uh, I would say I, my heart would be broken up and you are letting the drama go on and on yeah. about her man when you knew about the cookie lady. Cynthia told me they meant the cookie lady who said Tanya man was trying to get her cookies. So you know your boy, uh, 
fall. Tan is okay. He kind of like was all over me. Buy me drinks. Chocolate chip, anyone? <laughs> but if somebody had some shit to say about Todd. Hey, if anybody did anything to Todd, you would be all up in their face. And if she ever do, God forbid, find some shit about Todd. <laughs> what room? What room? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Come on. Hold on. If she ever do find some shit about Ty, you can best believe that Tanya's lips will be sealed. It is none of my business to answer when I am not asked. Yeah. Okay, with nothing when you didn't even let her give her That's any up, income. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's not something that you you out with the girl right now. Right. Kenya. And not out with Kenya. So you my girl, but that's that's, that's wrong. Don't her and then Kenya Kenya to that and instant. Can get them pussy bump before. Well, girl, shut up. That's what I think, allegedly. Listen, I might have something on her. What? Oh! What does that mean, Miss Tanya? I knew it. Bitch had a wig on. So after y'all left, she sent me a text message. She was like, hey, girl, you still in Canada? I was like, yeah. She was like, well, I left something at the hotel. Uh-huh. Do you mind bringing it back? Honey, I knew it. I knew it. I was like, oh, no, we don't just take a random package hey, no. across the border. You're going to open it up. What was in it? She really did bring it with her. I mean, this is me being real sweet. So when I opened it up, it was a wig. Did you take a picture of the wig? I have the wig here. Let me see the wig. I knew it, and Portia said it. I've been told y'all years ago, she's probably a secret shopper of Go Naked Hair, and it's okay. <laughs> Girl, you know she wear Go Naked Hair boo-boo all day. <laughs> she is my secret shopper, you didn't know that? <laughs> she's a secret shopper of Go Naked Hair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a secret shopper. So. Go naked. Yeah. <laughs> She's got the ponytail. It's cute, girl. Are you wearing Portia's hair tonight? Oh, I, no. I don't oh. shop at $3bundlehair.com. Oh. <laughs> Buy wig. Mm -hmm. Who says she don't wear wig? I'm not going to tell y'all the account name she buys it under, but yeah. We put it in our video, too. I thought maybe Candy would you take it. You brought the wig here? <laughs> you are lying. I got that wig. No, it's not. That's a this different wig. a different wig. wig. That's a you part like mine. You are kidding me. Oh, that's kind of good we shade. Know. So when this tea Let comes out, you can say, and here's your wig. <laughs> Let me see. Um, But not so good because she did already say she wears extensions. Drama. For drama. Before. Kenya has a wig? Not the one who came to my event and was promoting products for natural hair care. You pull my hair. I need to do the inventory because I was missing a wig. Marlo seemed super happy that she got this piece to kind of use against her. Kenya, right? Now, it's day of time, bitch! I... And this is the proper time for uh, a, a confessional, like I said before. I got a drink to this. Because she didn't get a chance to defend herself in a confessional like they allowed Kenya to. Marlo is just jealous that everyone grabbed my products like it was stacks of money on that tray. Clearly, they were not interested in Marlo's dusty, dry, nasty wigs. You know what I mean? So this was a proper time for, for a confessional. She adds it in. See, you take it. Let me see. Take your hair down. I don't want people's hair on my head. I mean, she came for her. I honestly feel like my life is completely perfect. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tanya, no relationship is perfect. You better watch out. So I'm going to be a devil's advocate just a little bit. When it comes down to men and men cheating, if you know or suspect or have heard that someone's man in the group is cheating, would you want to know? Um, let's not forget. Yeah, she did. Let's not forget what Kenya said. She said, "I have um, a loaded gun." Uh -huh. Remember, but I didn't. But shoot I it. didn't shoot it. It wasn't a loaded question. There was a bullet in a gun, but I didn't choose to to fire it. <laughs> then why did you ask? <laughs> if I'm putting that question out there, maybe, just maybe, I'm asking for myself, considering the state of my own marriage. So you weren't being helpful to this girl a bit. At all. Uh, no, you you were being shady. Yeah, to her you were being completely shady. Board. So why can't she be shady to you? And that's what she did. She got your wig. She being shady about it. Girl, if you don't oh, stop, I don't care. I, I'm a, I'm a revealer. Yeah. revealer. And Marlo it took uh, a liking to it because you came for Marlo as well. That's why I don't with Marlo now. This is how she fool you. It's no kill you more. It's fake. Wait a minute, what? And that bitch is used to pulling a lot of things out her ass, including some 80 year old dick. <laughs> I got a drink to this. <laughs> right. Why pity her, Candy? She coming for your throat, baby girl. She gonna girl. light your ass. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna put some hot sauce on that tea. Oh.
pity you, Tanya. Why do you why do you say you pity her? Because she needs to have savage moves. Do not come at Kenya unless you have like savage moves. Oh <laughs> Lord! You won't even shut down Kenya's ammo by giving this girl a heads up because you want to see the fallout, and that's just being messy. Girl, bye. Yeah, you know you don't don't do stuff like that. You could have just not even went out with Tanya because you know, girl, I'm not even gonna be involved in none of that. They bring up this whole mess about this and that. I understand that she probably invited you to give you the wig to take back to Kenya, but no. Yeah, and Portia is being very messy too. That's why she got mad then, Tanya, because she had one on all weekend. And Ooh. I just thought she had one on just that day. I don't know. I, to me, I think what it is, is um, she doesn't trust her, although Kenya is trying to rekindle this relationship with her. I know I've made mistakes, but I can't think about the past. And I just gotta think about where we are right now. Yeah. Um, she doesn't quite trust her all the way, so that's why in her confessional, she's like, I'm gonna throw shade. Kenya just likes to have moments. She does not care how she gets them. That is like really messed up. Kenya, what are you doing? You wanna get popped, don't you? Well, it ain't gonna happen. Because this girl, be her this, chick, friend, this chick could be throwing shade at me in her confessional. Ain't no shame in my game. They don't know until they watch the show if somebody is throwing shade. And Nene is grand with that. She'll be your friend on the whole show and be throwing shade yep. in the confessional. And for everybody to try to come at one person. They want to be, we're friends. You full of shit. That's what you are. You full of shit. Now take that to the bank and cash that damn check. Don't tell that about me. Don't lie to me. Didn't I tell you what's a good judge of character? Kim will tell you a lie and look you straight in your face and make you think that she is telling you the truth. I don't know Phaedra that well, but what I've seen of Phaedra, I ain't never seen fabulous. I see Plain Jane from Athens, but when we talk about fabulosity, I, I don't see it. Trying to throw me on the bus with Hucker, but it's all good. It's going down. She every day comes up with who should be the next project manager. Who the f that made you in charge of project managers? Into the reunion, the reunion and you mad because now you know, I shade me exactly the whole time. So Portia is coming off like that. She is shading the hell out of Kenya yeah. in her confessionals. She does brag about her hair being all natural. Yeah, all natural underneath her wigs. I just wanted her to broadcast that her hair is real. Yeah. My hair is real. So there's no pieces in your hair right now? No, I, this is all my hair. Oh. It's very long and thick. Really, bitch? Oh, oh, oh. After Kenya has apologized and extended an olive branch, right? But, I mean, I can understand. She came for Portia really hard in the past. Portia never sings. The bank doesn't accept checks written in crayons, sweetheart. Oh, my God. Phaedra and Portia really should be best friends. One is liar, one is dumb as rocks. So I can understand Portia's apprehensiveness, I guess. It was more like a sleeping willow tree branch. But... Right. <laughs> Meet it. Give me this. Get, get that out your head, no. girl. Give, give me this weapon. Oh, my God. Candy is looking like a real kid standing on her tippy toes like she's trying. Girl, give me this. Give me this. Oh, I'm going to hit TMZ. I cannot. But she we realized did. it. And she, she simmered down. I've seen that. She was like, She was getting a little bit too she, excited. Oh, like, right. Trying to defend Kenya a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like a high schooler. Like, like you a grown girl, lady. Do you like that. Hell. No, that bitch. Right, you rich okay. as hell. Y'all you ain't got nothing to do with this. Talk about Kenya, her damn wig. Right, I ain't got nothing to do That's not that. fair that I you can defend a person who is so shady to everybody. I am what I am. Either you accept it or not, and stop being so goddamn bothered by me. Like, how could you defend somebody like With that? This tired ass Mama Joyce wig right. you got on. Just like that tired right. Mama Joyce wig you're wearing. It's real old and tired. <laughs> But this your friend, though. Thank you. Ready to come at your mama Thank for you. nothing. And she will still but come for Candy in really? a heartbeat. That ish was funny. I still love you, Candy, but come on now. You need to dis. Uh, pussy bump. Uh, pussy bump. Kenya relationship has turned you sour just a little bit. You need to like take a step back because as you can see, she's messy as hell. She was crying to me. Vicky, that's not she was crying to me. Oh my god. Come in the house. What the hell are you doing in the house? You just messed it up. Come in the house. Why did she do that? I know. I hope nobody saw her. Candy seemed like she just loved her some Kenya. Like, she just can't stop defending Kenya. Take it to her or what? That's her body. That's her sister. Of course she will. <laughs> she got something on you, Candy. She ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> and you want to call me KMZ, but you wonder why I'm in the middle of some shit. I mean, it's better you take it. I'll take it to her. Right. Goodbye. Hey, boobie. Hi. Oh, I need all this chipperness in your voice right now. What you doing? We're about to actually meet up with Candy and Kenya. Eva. And we're headed over to the courthouse. I girl, I'm so nervous. Like my mom told me that she saw an Instagram Marley's donor put up. He said he was in Buckhead. And I'm like, are you freaking what? kidding me? Duh, Eva. The boy gotta be in Atlanta. So I don't know if it was like him just trying to scare me, like having realized that the date is here. Ugh. For the court date, like you're so dramatic. That's you, what I said. You were literally like, trying to tarnish this boy's right. Um, right. Um, look it, or yes, whatever yes, it is. Like yes. you just really want to make him look really bad when it's not necessary. He has to be in Atlanta, so why get on national TV and say, I don't know if. Regardless of whether he shows up or not, you just 
understand the course that he's in. Right. If, if he's, he's never been in Atlanta me. before now at any random moment. And, and he doesn't you know even know that the court date is coming up. So that's what I'm on. saying. And you know that the court date is coming up. That's the reason that he's in Atlanta. Like, he wasn't spotted around your house. He was hiding in the bushes again, girl. When it comes to Marley's donor, I have had to move five times. I've walked outside on my balcony before and he's been standing in the dark. And it is the scariest feeling ever. Look, if he was hiding in the bushes, I don't know, bitch, but did you find him again? All that bullshit's for the birds. This is random. I cut my ends today. No! 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 So my hair look a little short. Uh, two inches? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So funny the other day when we both were acting like we were, who were we walking next to who was pregnant? And we started doing the same thing. Oh, we were like, oh. Portia is serving, honey. She better come yes. through these motherfucking heels, these okay. kitten bitch. It's like a normal day look, yes. but the heels with the snake, I think that was a snake heel. Yes, yes. And then with that with your toes out and then the brat on your shirt. <laughs> That was cute. You did that. Yeah, you did. Portia mama gonna say, my pookie poo to the baby. Oh, my goodness. What a surprise. Hey, Morgan. How are you? Great. Oh, my pookie poo. Hey. But Portia come in and she like, hey, mommy. Look at here. Hi, mommy. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> mommy. Oh, my God. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a present. Hey, hey, hey grandma. And that's exactly. it, girl. That's how it goes. She's like, well, damn. When you have children and they grand and um, they have grandparents and grandparents, it, the attention turns to the grandchildren. I'm telling my mom, like, hey, and my mom be in a deep ass conversation. Next <laughs> thing you know, she be like, um, why she crying? Or what she <laughs> saying? And she don't even be crying. She be talking or something. I be like, mom, how the f you interpret crying? <laughs> I mean, laughing and talking to crying, like, and then cutting me off in the middle of something important, and it's not even a cry. It's a laugh. I know y'all hear her back there when she sing out to laugh. She's not. And then she's like, what is wrong? She What's is going talking. on? What's she saying? Right. She's talking to me. Dennis is full of. Shit. Dennis stopped by there before he. He came to Canada. Oh, Portia, what does all this mean? Well, it definitely means that we are engaged. I can't really take anything from this scene. Um, like, to me, this whole situation is just full of shit. I think Lonnie Love is right. I don't care for the real at all. But they do give me that Portia just want a reality show. Portia trying I, to get, I don't understand. Let me tell you something. Portia okay. trying to get that reality show. That's what that is, all right? Uh, why y'all up here? I'm just gonna keep it does. I don't really have much to say about this. He's full of shit. And we wanted to talk to y'all. Would you boo boo? You be doing the boo boo? I think that it would be nice if you would attend and y'all would talk to him and he can tell you his side. Listen, Portia, like I've said many times before, I'm not your biggest fan. Or maybe just simply uh, apologize to y'all. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he can apologize, but there's not really a side to it. But Portia is too bad of a bitch to sit around and wait for a nigga who don't want nothing but somebody else, okay? Now, check that. So I definitely do not agree. I think that Portia is trying to work it out with Dennis because she really feels like something can come out of it, not because she wants to force it. I do feel like you selling yourself short sometimes because he hasn't done enough to work his way back into your household and in your drawers, girl. Not yet. You know what? I'm not gonna let you have it, bitch. But I do feel like she's trying to work it out with him because she sees something more than just a man and a woman and a child. Did you read it? <laughs> yeah, I read it. <laughs> It is hereby decreed that the name of minor child Marley Ray McCall's changed to Marley Ray Sterling. <laughs> Eva's so dramatic, she's doing all this crying. Like, come on, I believe she was doing stuff too. How did you and Eva meet? Uh, me and Eva met actually at a Chris Brown concert. I was performing Deuces. She was in a crowd next to one of Chris Brown's friends. She was like, who is this dude? He looked like he got straight out the state penitentiary. There's something about a restraining order? Right. How yeah, because there was a, a dispute, you know, a regular argument like men and women have. Okay. And you know whoever calls, calls police first, the other one's going to jail, as Mike Epps would say. Well, um, listen, we know how stuff can go, and it's never okay to put your hands on a woman or anything no. like that. The thing is, but if like, she hits like, you, wait, but wait, but wait. I'm hitting okay. back. Right. Oh, hey, 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 you can't hit that woman? Let me get you some mace. Right, but the thing is, even if it's not in a situation like that, we know that there are situations in relationships where people can kind of provoke situations. Jocelyn, are you I'm guys living together? Yes, I'm in the house. Yes, I have been there. It was a joke, she made a joke. Yo, chill. Yo, this bitch gonna call me a maid? You gonna say the bitch is joking? Yo, hold on. You gonna tell me that bitch is joking? You Still 
can go to hell. I'm gonna beat your ass. It's always two sides to every story, and to sit here and not hear his side of the story, but to only make sense of hers is not fair. I'm um, not calling her a liar. I'm not calling her a bad person. I forgive her for everything that happened, but there was no abuse that occurred. No verbal abuse, no physical abuse, no chasing of a baby. I did kick down doors, taking them off the hinges. Sometimes I hit things, I break my things. Didn't chase her around the house. The police were called? The police were called. I left. There were no charges Okay, made. so you weren't arrested or anything? No, the only reason the restraining order was taken into effect is because I wasn't properly served. Paperwork for like a restraining order. Oh, okay. Because what people don't know is, after me and, me and her broke up, she asked me to move back in the house. I moved back in the house. The altercation went to TMZ and she didn't defend me. And she didn't say, he didn't beat me. I'm not saying he right for what he did, but he didn't do that. She instead did say, no, you don't talk about that. You just stay quiet and it goes away. I know how I feel about guys who are abusive. I don't like them. I want to hurt them. This is part one to episode 12. This whole episode has already been uploaded. Unfortunately, due to coronavirus, NBC has not been able to release the claim on our video. It is not their video, but they oftentimes will claim our video as if it's their video and it's not their video. So due to this whole virus, our video has not been released yet. So we're going to try this upload again, try re-uploading it in two different parts. Thank you for watching part one. Go to Rebel TV so that you can watch part two to episode 12. Real Housewives of Atlanta review. Deuces. Okay.